Okay, you guys, welcome. So we are gonna be testing out these crystals from Five Below to see if they are fake. We have real stones here. We have the suspected fake stones here. I'm gonna show you everything. We're gonna test them with fire, see if they melt. I believe that they are plastic. So let's just jump right in. Let's get on into it. So first, let's look at the real rose quartz and fake rose quartz. What I think is fake rose quartz, at least. So this is the rose quartz bracelet you get from Five Below. You can see it does have some white inclusions in it, which visually makes it look real. So very similar to the real rose quartz, this one has white inclusions as well, which would make you think that it's real. However, there's just something about it that feels plastic. It's not very cold to the touch where this is ice cold and I have said in other previous videos hold crystals to your cheek. If they feel ice cold they are probably real. If they just feel cold not ice cold they are probably glass or plastic. So I know a lot of people say that that isn't a thing. It's a thing. I promise you. So let's look at the Howlite. Here is the five below Howlite right here. Again, visually, this looks like plastic to me. Here's the real Howlite. You can see the difference in pattern and color and quality. So we're gonna test the Howlite as well. Here is the quote unquote jade roller, which I'm suspecting that this is some type of serpentine. Jade is pretty expensive, especially authentic jade. So we're just gonna look at this one last because I'm pretty sure this is a real crystal. I'm just not sure that it's jade. Let's do the rose quartz first, just because I'm not super sure that this is real or not. So we're gonna go ahead and open it on up. Thank you to a subscriber who sent this to me so I could do this test for you guys. And we're actually gonna cut it off the strand so that the plastic doesn't burn. So first, I'm actually gonna light this real rose quartz on fire and show you what happens. Also, if you're young or a kid, do not do this at home. Okay, as you guys can see, the crystal is turning dark. This is a natural response to heat. This does not mean that this crystal is fake. What you will not notice is this crystal is not melting. So this is what happens when you burn a crystal. I know because I've done it before. You may be like, oh my God, that's fake. It's not. I'm gonna give it a minute to cool, cool down and I'm gonna show you why. I can guarantee the same thing's gonna happen with the Howlite. This is what happens when you burn a crystal that's real. It makes those black marks. Real crystals don't burn. You can wipe the black completely off. And because this is raw, some of the black is still sticking in the crevices, so I'm not able to get it off. But you can see it on my hands. So here's after the burned rose quartz. It did not melt. It is not even hot to the touch. I'm touching my skin. It's not burning me. I can guarantee you in 15 minutes, this crystal will be ice cold again. So let's try the beads, which I suspect are plastic. So here's what one of the beads looks like up close. So we are testing to see if this bead melts. Okay, all right, all right. It is smelling like burning plastic, and you guys, there you go. This is plastic. It smells really bad. When I burned the real rose quartz, no smell at all. Hot to the touch, but huh, need to let that cool down. After I burned the rose quartz, I could touch it immediately. I cannot touch that bead because it's melted hot plastic. Here we go. Proof that this is plastic. So do not buy bracelets from Five Below. They are plastic. <laughs> I am 99.9% .9 sure that this Howlite is fake, but I'm gonna go ahead and burn the real Howlite. These are my own crystals, you guys. I feel so confident in this. I'm burning my own crystals. So 
let's give this a minute. I am touching this with the flame, just so everybody can see. This is this Howlite is actually not even discoloring at all, barely. I'm not getting a scent, you guys, from this at all, just to prove that the flame is touching it. Burning this for like a few seconds now, barely any discoloration. So you can see their tip. The tip got a little brown, but otherwise the crystal did not burn. I can touch it immediately. So let's wipe away what we burned. Look at that. You can't even tell that I just lit this on fire. All right. Now the test what I suspect is plastic. Let's do it. So just so you guys know, these are $3.25 for plastic. This is why people charge more money for real crystals. All right, you guys, here's the Howl Light bead. Let's light this baby on fire. Okay, it's actually catching fire. <sighs> Again, awful smell. This smells. <laughs> Awful. I literally burnt this for less than half the time of the other one. So there you can see Completely melted Completely melted and just to compare All right, let's test the face roller. I'm pretty sure that this is a real stone you guys So let's go ahead and open it on up There is the face roller now, I don't really have serpentine to test this up against, a raw piece of serpentine. So we're just gonna burn it and see what happens. I'm pretty sure this is a real crystal. It feels like a real crystal. Here's what it looks like, but I'm pretty sure it's just serpentine, not jade. Slide her on up. You can see that the stone is not catching on fire because if it were plastic, it would catch on fire. I'm not smelling anything at all. No awful sense. Sorry, this is going out of focus. Hold on. Okay, we're back in focus. Let's light this baby up again. I'm not smelling anything, you guys. The stone is not changing color. It's not lighting on fire. So you can see it did get a little bit black, but that happened with the rose quartz too. So that does happen when you burn stones. Cool to the touch. Cool enough for me to touch it, I should say. Not, it's not cold, it's warm. I can obviously touch my skin and I'm not dying of burning because this is a real stone. Real stone. Let's go ahead and wipe that black off. There we go. There's no black on it anymore. So this face roller is real, you guys. It's just probably not jade. Here are the test subjects fully cooled down. You can see that they definitely melted. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you found this informative. If you do wanna learn how and where to buy real crystals, I myself have an Etsy shop. It is called Cold Brew Crystals. I will leave it linked in the description box down below. If you guys don't see something you like from me, I also have a video of my top 10 favorite crystal shops that I've shopped with for some over a year now. I trust them. I get good prices from them. I vetted them. So go check them out. This was a lot of fun. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Before I go, a special thank you to all of my patrons. You keep this channel alive and running. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, I will leave a link in the description box down below. This is a great way to show support to the channel. Or if you're looking for additional business advice, I offer this as well. So I look forward to seeing you on my Patreon.